Okay, howdy gamers. Time for DH-7. Uh, I think I'm gonna play it at normal speed for a bit just because there's kind of a lot going on. Um... Yeah, so basically just start by doing DP stuff. Um, notably in the bottom, I'm opting to use melee operators for the damage. Because uh, the thing is, is that if I use like Cruz or someone else, they have to kind of go up here. Um, and then they're just going to get sniped by the like motorbike people that throw like the cross shaped grenades. Um, and my experience was that they don't have the durability to really survive that. Um, so, just gonna be using melee people for damage. On the right side, it's basically just Beagle, Absinthe, and Hibiscus holding down the, like, huge dudes in the boats. Um, I would've put Absinthe down before Beagle, but I just didn't have the points to do it and didn't want this dude to leak. Um, cause then he gets, like, way closer and it'd be a whole thing. Um, but the other thing I'm gonna do too is put down Flamebringer kind of up and to the left from Beagle over here um, just so that he can help out killing these guys and also because there's you know some other dudes that end up like walking through this way which he can help kill. Um, another thing to note too is in a second I'm gonna start putting down pads on the top row here um, and that is to keep these harpoon swimmer guys from killing absinthe because you know they get an attack boost when they're in the water and so it, uh, with the attack boost, they definitely have enough power to kill Absinthe, um, but without it, she can survive. Um, but yeah. You might notice now, on the back in the bottom, like left slash middle, uh, I'm replacing the vanguards with Plume and Malantha. Uh, that's basically just because they have a lot more damage, you know, like 753 attack, and Plume has 353, and like a much higher attack speed than everyone else. See, this is not even 300, and not even 300. Um, even though my plume is still E0, <laughs> and the, the vanguards are E1. Um, but yeah, this guy here is will get really close to leaking, but won't actually leak yet. Um, but yeah, basically just using them for damage. And you can see that like, uh, you know, the grenade throwers don't actually target Ansel or anyone here, just because they're down low enough for that not to happen. Um, but I think that's kind of all, all the main tech happening here, so I'm just gonna speed it back up. Um, eventually there will start being people leak down in the bottom, and I'll place down, uh, you know, Courier. And also place down Gaviel to help, uh, you know, heal Plume. Um, and then later in Noir when I have to put him down. But yeah, Malanta will just barely hold on here. Oh yeah, and <laughs> Absinthe dies partway through. Um, but it's after all the big dudes have launched, so it's fine. Um, at this point I really could have retreated Beagle, um, but this is not a big deal. Yeah, at this point the stage is basically just over, you just need to wait for like Melantha and, and company to like just chew through the people. Um, Truth honestly didn't actually do that much here, just like helped a little bit with Courier, but it's not a big deal. Um, I don't know whether or not she's actually needed though, because like, her killing stuff faster will let, you know, Gaviel heal uh, the person here more, just because Courier would be taking less damage. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, DH-7, zero rarity. Thanks for watching.